Hello, my name is Eric Kiavi, and uh, I think this is about the ninth year that I've been doing this race. And it, uh, this year was a great year. Uh, the water, the weather, everything was uh, was in good condition, and uh, it was a, it was a great honor also to to honor uh, Tamayo Perry. Uh, I've been doing stand-up paddle for the past eight years here at the uh, the Hui races, and so. Uh, this year was a great year. Uh, not huffing and puffing like I normally did <laughs> previous, but it's what, but it's good to work out before you come to the race. Mahalo, thank you very much. Hope you guys have a great day here at the Hui Nalu, at the Hui race. It's a nice little intro, wasn't it? It was yeah. a good poulet. Yeah, so we're at the Hui Paddle Race, the 44th the Hui Race, which is always on the 4th of July. So really excited to get out there paddling again. And yeah, um, let's talk a little bit about the pule. That just happened and we're getting ready to get on the water for the start, but the pule was kind of in memory of Tamayo Perry. You want to talk a little bit about that, Tyler? Yeah, the, the Hui Oheinalu putting on a great introduction and the North Shore Lifeguard Association honoring Tamayo Perry in the shoreline right at the beginning of the Dehui 44th annual. I mean, just special moments, right? Just gives you kind of uh, the feels and really extend our aloha out to the, their families and their associations. But man, what an honor to be here. Really excited to race. Uh, last year, Rob conquered the whole fleet. So I think he might do it again. No forecasting. How do you feel, Rob? Uh, we'll see, you know. Um, I mean, we're doing the short course, so it's not, not as competitive for sure as the long course. It's true. The long course is always where the kind of the more advanced paddlers uh, tend to do the long course. So. But I, I kind of like doing the short course because, yeah, the pulley at the beginning, mm. it's just a big group of people. It has a lot of energy. And then it's just a short, quick, uh, fun race. I think yeah. it's about four miles. They're just starting the... Um, it was the first horn. The first horn right now. That's for the, the adaptive division. Adaptive division, yeah. access surf, and those mm. um, the whole crew is here. And then I think they're going to start um, outriggers, uh, prone. prone boarders, and then stand-ups at 11.15. 11.15. So we got to be in the water ready to start in about 14 minutes. Yeah. And then we're going to, like, usually it's kind of a big mass start outside. they got, like, the jet skis going to tell people to turn around, and then they blow the horn right after that. <laughs> it seems like always. So, um, but then everybody just goes, and we paddle um, towards... Kiki or like you know by three tables over there and then at the tip of the reef that's okay. kind of yeah hopefully we'll get a little bit of wind in the beginning like usually from Sunset Beach to mm. Kiki there's a little bit of wind and then yep. after that it kind of goes flat and, and then it's just a grind to, to the Waimea that's right the MC was saying hey hug the shoreline we don't want anyone getting blown out to Timbuktu word for word <laughs> That's it. I don't know how, how we go there, but <laughs> not be, uh, that much wind today. Be long, know. long blowing. But um, yeah. They were saying there's just enough wind out there to keep us moving, though. So we're looking forward to that, and yeah. let's race. And we definitely don't we don't want to end up too far outside at Waimea because that's where the wind kind of turns offshore if mm. there's wind. Mm. And then uh, you gotta make sure you save a little bit of energy for the very last part, running that's up right. the beach. It's kind of a steep climb up the beach, and when your legs are kind of sore from already balancing the whole race and you're tired then that that run up the beach is probably like for me is a lot of times the hardest part of the whole thing you know i and was then, guilty of that last year a lot year. of times you're like chasing someone else up the hill that's right a um, couple face plants and also make sure you take off your leash before you hit the beach and jump off because i've seen people have their leash still attached and then face planting and can ditch the board yeah the shore and, uh, but crew. they do have yeah the hui has a lot of crew down there helping take with the, the boards, boards. they yeah. put the boards up and then after that, it's a big party at Waimea. Rob's got a booth. He's donating a board for the winner. Who, who wins the board? Uh, I think they're going to raffle it off. Okay, but yeah, we've got a brand new board being raffled off down there and then get food and drinks. And, uh, Let's yeah, go. And, and thanks for the, to the Hui and Mahina and all, the whole crew for putting on this great event every year. We really appreciate it and looking forward to it. Aloha.
This is for the OC1. OC1. Getting third place, Keone Anderson from Kaneohe. Yes, sir. And getting second place from Honolulu, Walter Bell the third. Yeah, you. This is OC1. Yeah, you. Here we go. Getting third place from Honolulu, Ashley Lincoln. Yeah, Ashley. From Waianaikila, Kalaau. Woohoo! And winning it, coming straight from Waianaikani, Tavita Maia. Congratulations, go get you guys an uh, award. Hey, that was perfect. Now we're down to the female age group, 40 to 49. Oh, with the 